Hi, this is Al Bickham from the Creative Assembly, and today I'm going to be talking you through a skirmish battle versus the AI in Rome 2. Now, as you can see, it's a standard kind of open field battle here. Um, it's quite an intriguing battlefield, this one, because uh, we can see a little copse of trees on the left there and a large forest on the right. Now, I'm going to hopefully exploit these and hide my troops from enemy view as they approach. Now it's a fairly balanced force here, I'm playing as a Macedonian, so I've got a nice core of hoplites and shield brothers who are uh, sort of elite hoplites, very nice. Um, I've got some slingers, some uh, some peltasts firing javelins, and four units of cavalry and of course my, my general as well. So I'm all deployed now and as we kick off the battle, um, as you can see I've got my cavalry secreted in the woodlands to the right and in the, the copse of trees over here on the left and you can see the little eye symbol above them which means they are out of line of sight of the enemy currently. I'm hoping to keep them that way, keep them uh, concealed as long as I can uh, while the enemy approaches now. He's attacking, I'm defending, so I'm going to try and hold where I stand. Now I'm going to send my skirmishers out front so they've got some room to fire at the enemy as they approach and then skirmish back towards my lines. Now I'm going to place my shield brothers and my hoplites into phalanx formation here so you can see them tightening up there. Um, this should make them a much tougher nut to crack when the enemy does arrive. Okay, taking a quick look at the Roman army here, they seem to be uh, advancing towards the woods, so maybe they're going to try and conceal some units there, so we'll see how that goes. And facing me on the field of battle today, I've got a nice balanced Roman force, some um, sort of Republic era force with uh, Velites, Hastati, Principes, Triarii, and some Equites cavalry as well, so you'll, you'll, you'll see a very kind of classic Roman Republic force on the table. Countess, Okay, my Thessalian cavalry are moving quite nicely through the forest here, they're still concealed. Um, and the important thing to note about moving through cover like this, if you want to keep them concealed, don't run your troops because they'll give themselves away really quickly. But of course if your concealed troops do uh, come into the visual range of the enemy, they'll be uncovered anyway, so you just have to be careful about that. Our hidden units have been discovered! And yes, okay, my guys have been spotted now. Um, oh yeah, it looks like there's some skirmishers on the front line there. They're probably using their improved visual range to uh, to spot me with. And it looks like you're sending some cavalry into the woods to, to meet me head on. Ooh, that guy didn't stand a chance. All right, so his skirmishers are firing on my skirmishers now, and it looks like he's got his whole army moving at, 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 at marching speed now, so uh, things are going to hot up pretty quickly. All right, his cav has spotted my cav as well, so I'm going to send them out to meet them head on. Uh, two on one, that should be in my favour. Looks like his general is throwing some buffs out into uh, into his melee units there. That's, uh, that's not going to be good for me. Okay, he's quite wisely supported his cavalry charge in the forest against my cavalry there with a, uh, a unit of Velites who are currently throwing javelins like crazy into my horsemen. They're not going to like that one bit. Okay, he's pulled his uh, cavalry away, but he's sending some uh, some troops in to relieve them by the looks of it, some melee troops. So it looks like he's aiming for local superiority and not to burn all his forces out of the same attack. He's definitely using his general in support here as well. He's buffing his cavalry while they fight my cavalry, so um, yeah, that's not going to go too well if this keeps up. And to make matters worse, he's also got another unit of javelin men peppering me while I fight him, so he really is aiming for local superiority in these small skirmishes around the main fight. Our general is under attack! Time to do a bit of buffing of my own, so I'm going to throw a battle rhythm, which is one of my general's particular skills, um, onto this unit of hot lights here. That'll make them fight harder and better as time goes on, for, for a limited period of course, but it's going to improve their fighting abilities for sure. Men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. And thanks to my battle advisor for that shrewd analysis. I'm not sure there's much I need to add to that. Ready and waiting! Stratagons!
Now I'm running down these uh, fleeing cavalry with my general's unit here, um, because I don't want them rallying and coming back later. And I've just activated Stampede, which gives them a real nice burst of speed, so they can really cut those guys down. When they Okay, we're managing to hold the line here, but the thing that's worrying me most is the reserve units he's holding back just behind his front line there. So you can see he's holding back fresh troops there, ready to send them in when his uh, when his front line gets whittled down a bit. And oh, one of my units of cavalry has just winked out of existence. Uh, and he, oh, he's got some triarii there. That's 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 very bad news for them. They were never going to take that fight particularly well. I think it's fair to say that's a bit of a rookie error on my part there. The men are wavering. Ah, and his principes have taken out another unit of my cavalry. That's weakened me on the flanks quite badly. So I'm just going to send in this unit of light peltasts. Um, they're out of ammo, so I'm just going to send them in and try and hold up those principes and stop them getting involved in the main fight. So this is all looking pretty bad all of a sudden. He's picked off my flanking units and he's starting to encircle my central line of hoplites in earnest now. All oh, those principes are back. Looks like they picked off my um, my peltas pretty quickly, and they're coming to get involved in the big fight now. Oh, this is not good. Okay, it doesn't feel like there's an awful lot I can do here. I, all I've got left really is these um, the slingers and javelin men and my general. Our general has fallen. <laughs> oh, no. I am never going to hit the end of this. Oh. Steady and waiting. So while my army is being comprehensively smashed to bits by the AI, uh, it's probably worth me explaining uh, actually some of the reasons why this is happening. So the first thing to note is is that um, AI generals are, are very much more able and eager to, to hunt around for situations where their activated abilities are, are going to be of use to the army. So AI controlled generals in Rome 2 are much more vigilant uh, about the situations that the troops around them are getting into. I think that's fully in evidence here because you can see the general running around buffing its troops everywhere it can, so it's really using it as a true support unit. The men are wavering. Now, when the AI analyzes a, a single battle situation, say, you know, it has a unit of swordsmen there, it's throwing ag against a unit of archers, it's going to think very deeply about how many guys it's going to lose along the way, the kind of morale it's going to take before it gets in, and weigh up those odds in, in, in a much more reasoned fashion. Companion cavalry! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Yep, and they're breaking out. Well, they're... That's it, that's it. They've all folded, everything's gone at once. But there we have it, that's what happens when you put a very hard difficulty level skirmish AI against a, a distinctly average player like me. And I just get the sense he outfought me in every little engagement there, you know, at both flanking engagements. He was cycling troops in and out, using his general to buff units. Uh, and generally playing in a very effective fashion. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, battle playthrough. We'll have another one for you very soon. Where was the last report of his whereabouts? My spies in Iberia tell me his fleet has sailed. We must expect an invasion at Massalia! This is nonsense! No fleet has sailed! 